What's going on YouTube? So over the last several years, Honda has been rolling out new Civic models, starting with the sedan, then moving to the hatchback, and then the sportier SI. But enthusiasts have been awaiting the mightiest Civic, the Type R. Built as no less than the most powerful and highest performance Honda production vehicle ever sold in the US. This Type R is promising to deliver thrills on road and on track, both of which we're excited to sample today. So is this sixth generation of the Type R the best one yet? That's what we're here at Sonoma Raceway today to find out. Now, right as soon as you walk up to this next generation of Type R, you're gonna know this is not your everyday Civic. There's a lot of aggressive elements on board, although I have to say a little bit less aggressive looking overall than the previous generation, which was really, really in your face. This one, it has a little bit more of a mature and sophisticated design. But like I said, still plenty aggressive. So. The overall look of this is going to be both lower and wider than the previous generation. And of course, compared to something like the SI, you're gonna have a lot more grill up here in the front to get that air flowing into the engine. So you'll notice you have the upper grill. We've got the uh, red uh, Honda branding to signify this is the Type R as well as the Type R branding itself. The lower grill down here is very large, letting in a lot of airflow. And these vents over here are for cooling down the brakes. And then additionally, you'll notice up here at the top, we've got a functional hood vent to get that airflow going through. Now, as we move over here to our headlights, this is probably the most conventional uh, part of the styling with the Type R in the front, because they're pretty much exactly the same as you'd see on a typical Civic hatchback. They're gonna be full LED across all of the models. Uh, reflector style, and then you've got the daytime running light and turn signal indicator. Now coming around to the side, of course, we are gonna have aggressive wheel and tires on board. These are gonna be lightweight 19 inch alloy wheels. As you can see, they've got this kind of matte black finish, which I think looks really, really good, especially with the red Honda branding right there in the center. Uh, like I said, these are gonna be lightweight, and you also have a grippier, uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires on board. Furthermore, the brakes have also been enhanced. So we have 13.8 inch four piston Brembo brakes with the really nice looking red calipers. And then rising up here to our mirrors, we do have the nice gloss black finish and you will find standard blind spot monitoring, which is a type R first. So at the side of the all new Civic Type R, you're gonna see a lot of really cool design elements going on. And you will also notice that the Type R is based on the Civic hatchback. So if you didn't already know that, you will certainly notice that here at the side. Um, it does have that nice hatchback proportion, that nice hot hatch look to it. Now, as far as some of those design elements that I was pointing out earlier, uh, we do have blacked out window surrounds for all of the models that makes it nice and sporty looking. We do actually have our own unique rear door as well that Honda was quick to point out that they had to actually redesign the door because the rear is so much wider that it has to have its own door. Now, as far as the lower area, we do have lower splitters and diffusers going on here. That increases your aerodynamics. Yes, it's disgustingly dirty, but we were driving this particular model earlier today and we were certainly taking it pretty hard. So that's why it's so dirty. And let's work our way around to the very, very bold rear design of the Civic Type R. Now, of course, you're not going to mistake this for any other Civic on the road because we have a lot of unique design elements. Probably the one that you're most familiar with might be the wing spoiler. Um, that is going to be included on all Type R models. It stands about eight inches off of the rear deck lid, and it's more than just style. It actually has a lot of function. It increases the downforce, which you will see later in our drive portion of the video. Now, as we head to the lower areas, I want to point out some other design touches before I head into some of the individual features. We have a, a very aggressive lower diffuser. This is the other area that is very unique to the Type R as opposed to any other Civic. So this is super aggressive. And we're also going to have the triple exhaust outlets here in the middle. And for the 2023 version, the largest exhaust is actually in the very center. Um, so let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Thank you. 
Now do keep in mind we have a 4,000 RPM uh, rev limiter but this is an active exhaust system, meaning the higher RPMs as you drive the vehicle, it's actually gonna open up the exhaust and make it sound a lot better. Now, as far as other design touches, we have our red Honda badge right here in the middle, type R branding off to the side. And then our taillights are gonna be signature Civic hatchbacks. So you have the full length LED taillights across the back, all the LED accenting, LED br brake light, and then you have an incandescent turn signal and reverse light. And then down here, we do have this nice little fake vent area that accentuates to show you how wide this Type R looks. Now for the Civic Type R, we do actually have quite a few safety systems. You're getting Honda's entire safety suite as standard equipment on the Type R. So that's gonna include forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane keeping assist, auto high beams, and even adaptive cruise control. You're also gonna have Honda Signature Warranty, which is three year, 36,000 miles for your basic warranty, five year, 60,000 miles for your powertrain warranty. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out that beautiful red cabin. So walking up to the Type R, you will find the typical Honda key fob. Of course, you do have smart entry, but as you can tell, we do have the red Honda emblem, just like the rest of the vehicle. And then to get inside, just grab behind the handle, that will unlock the door. And speaking of red, as soon as you open up the door, you're gonna see a lot of red, since this is the interior color, the one and only selection that you have. We'll go ahead and climb inside and check out all the details. Get some exclusive graphics there. So right off the bat here, let's go ahead and talk about these seats because these are some of the biggest changes that you get for the Type R. So these are, as you can tell, a single piece, heavily bolstered and lightweight seat. And Honda brags that these not only hold you in place really well, but they're also very comfortable. Having driven this for over two hour road trip today, I can fully endorse that. They are indeed very comfortable on a long road trip and they do hold you in place extremely well because these bolsters, as you can see, are very thick down here on the bottom part as well as your back. The seat itself is made of this uh, suede-like material, which is really grippy, and you do have the Type R branding up there and the headrest as well. Now, they are going to be six-way manual adjusting for both the driver and the passenger side. Now, let's go ahead and take a look over here at the other materials inside of the cabin, which is mostly typical Civic, but you do have, of course, sportier elements. So you've got the suede across the armrest here with the stitching detail that's going to be in the middle as well. You do have matching red seat belts, as well as red carpet for, or to match your seats, excuse me. It is gonna be soft touch along the top. We've got a black piece of plastic right there. Soft touch materials along the top of the dashboard. Through here, you've got that single vent effect, but of course you have the serialized plate for each and every Type R. And then coming down here, the center part is gonna be finished with a faux textured aluminum. Now to start it up, of course, put your foot on the brake and the clutch and press the button. Now, right as soon as you fire it up, you will be greeted with a 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster. Um, there are a couple special things about this relative to the uh, touring model that you would normally find this on. First of all, you do have special graphics on board, especially when you press the plus R drive mode. That's gonna put you into this very aggressive tachometer and race design. You also notice right there at the top, we have the lighting system that tells you as you're approaching red line, kind of like an F1 car. So that's a really neat touch. You do not have a head up display. Now, as we pull back to the steering wheel, we do have a nice leather wrap steering wheel. Of course, the color contrast stitching, you've got the red branding. It's not gonna be heated and it will be manual tilt and telescoping. You can also get a Honda accessory um, Alcantara finish steering wheel if you want something a little bit grippier, but we had no problem with this even out on the racetrack. Now, turning over here to our center console. This, of course, is also finished in that suede-like material. 
And then looking inside, we have a decent amount of storage. Of course, it is going to be a little less than like the automatic transmission equipped versions of the Civic because the cup holders have to shift backwards, but still plenty of space. We have two large and deep cup holders. And then you've got a nice wireless phone charging pad up there for that large bin, as well as two USBs and a 12 volt outlet. Now pulling back to the shifter, we have one of my absolute favorite parts about the Type R, that is this glorious short throw shifter. As you can see, it does have the nice aluminum head on it. Feels fantastic to row through the gears, which of course we'll demonstrate a little later on. For reverse, you're just going to go all the way over there to the uh, right hand side. And as you can see, you do have that standard traditional backup camera with three views that you are accustomed to seeing in all Civic products. And then next to that, you have your electronic parking brake with brake hold. You also have your aforementioned drive mode controller and your plus R. So plus R, of course, is your most aggressive uh, drive mode for every single setting. You can also cycle between your other drive modes, which includes sport and an individual mode. So with this, you can actually click customize and that will allow you to make your own unique combination of different types of settings that you prefer for your drive characteristics. So as you can see right now in our individual mode, we have the engine dialed up to the maximum plus R, but we have the other things a little bit less aggressive with the sport setting, or you could do something like put the suspension in comfort if you want it to ride a little softer um, when it comes to driving out on the highway or something like that, for example. Now, as we come back up here, let's take a look at our climate controls. This is typical Civic stuff here, dual zone automatic climate control setup, really nice and clicky tactile buttons. No heated seats are available on the Type R. You also have that nice single vent effect. And then up top here, you will find the same nine inch display as you would get on most versions of the Civic hatchback. As you can see, it is running the latest version of the Honda Link system. And you do have both wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay abilities, as well as some additional functions, including navigation. And you also have Honda's Log R uh, built into the infotainment system itself instead of in a standalone app, which is what it was previously part of. And while I'm up here, I can't forget to give you guys a demo of the audio system. It does share the same audio system as the Civic Sport Touring, which is going to be the 12-speaker Bose Premium sound system. Let's go ahead and give it a sample. <laughs> Yeah, so overall sound quality of this system is great. It's certainly the best audio system that's ever been in a Type R if you decide you'd rather listen to that than the sound of that engine roar. All right, so let's move on up here. We do have a manual dimming mirror. And then up at the very top, of course, you're not gonna find a sunroof. That is for weight savings. Now you're not going to forget this is a Type R in the back seat either because there are some unique features going on here. First of all, the most unique thing is that this is a four-seater, not a five-seater Civic. So that's a big distinction between that and the regular hatchback model. You'll notice this uh, center seat here is actually just swapped out for some integrated cup holders in the bottom and then you don't have a center armrest or anything integrated right here. You do still keep the uh, really nice red seat belts though, so that's certainly a nice touch. Now the space is going to actually remain the same uh, as any other Civic hatchback model, so you're looking at a little over 37 inches of both leg and headroom. Um, so certainly big enough for someone my size. I'm five foot nine, and this seat is adjusted to Drew, who is five foot eight. There's plenty of space. I'm also a big fan of the way these seats look. From the rear, you have your Type R branding, so the rear passengers certainly aren't going to forget you're in a very very special Civic model. We have our red carpeting on the floors, and then as far as any features, no vents, no USB ports. Uh, Honda makes it pretty simple on me. No heated rear seats, and then your door trim is going to be hard touch on the upper part. Uh, you have a blacked out piece uh, accenting here, and then we do have like a suede material on the door, and then bottle storage in the very bottom. 
And one of the really beautiful things about the Type R is that it is based on the Civic hatchback model, as I said at the side of the vehicle. That does mean we can open up this hatch and you're gonna have a lot of practicality in addition to all the sportiness going on. 24 and a half cubic feet is gonna be your cargo capacity rating behind the second row seats. If you fold those seats down, certainly you'll have a lot more practicality. Um, Honda's not provided a specific figure for that, but I'm estimating it probably be at least 45 cubic feet with those seats folded down. So lots of practicality, uh, which is something you typically don't get with a sports car um, or a hot hatch type of vehicle. Now the seats do fold 60-40 split. We also have a cargo cover over here that we can kind of pull across some lighting. And um, if we lift up the cargo floor, let's see if I can find the edge of it. There we go. Inside of here, we do not have a spare tire. Of course, that is for weight savings and to make sure this Civic Type R is as light as it possibly can be. Now your passenger seat is of course manually adjusting, but these seats are incredibly comfortable. I'm not sure if Drew mentioned it in the front of the cabin, but these seats really hug you in and they're also very supportive on long drives. Now, as far as the glove box in front of us, we do have your typical Civic glove box. It's gonna be nicely dampened. Uh, it's not felt lined. As you can see, there's a lot of junk in here, but it would certainly fit in our coupons perfectly fine. We have our Type R branding. And then as far as our sun visor, we're gonna have a nice one, has a mirror as well as some lighting, and we can detach it and extend it out. All right, now by this point in the video, you're probably wondering what is powering this most powerful Honda ever. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you're, what you're gonna find is a updated two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. In this new generation, you're gonna have 315 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. Now it is gonna be up nine horsepower over the previous generation. And uh, like I said, that's definitely a lot of power for a relatively small vehicle such as this. Now the Type R remains a purist vehicle. So the only transmission option remains a six speed manual transmission. That's not to say it is carryover because they have made some changes including a new high rigidity gear lever and optimized shift gate pattern as well as revised downshift rev matching. Also, just like every Civic Type R, this will continue to be front wheel drive, but we do have a helical type limited slip differential to help put that power down. Now, if you're wondering about the fuel economy, it is rated at 22 city, 28 highway, 24 combined, and it continues to be powered by premium fuel. Now, as far as a couple other things, uh, being that its foundation is now the 11th generation Civic, it does have a significantly stiffer structure than before, and you will also find adaptive dampers, which are customizable, including that individual mode that I showed you guys on the interior. Now, we cannot wait to show you guys uh, all this stuff at work, out on the road and out on the track. However, as you probably know, we are under an embargo. So for out of respect for Honda, as well as our fellow journalists, we will be honoring that driving impressions embargo until November 15th. That's not very many days from now at all. So make sure you set your calendar and come back to Car Confections so you can see just how much of a performance beast this Civic is out on the track as well as out on the road. So don't miss it. And wrapping us up, I do wanna talk about the pricing of this Civic Type R. So as we've said throughout this review, there's not really many options you can get on the Type R. It pretty much just comes as it is. And the starting point is gonna be $42,895. Um, championship wide is a $395 paint option plus the $1,095 destination. We're looking at a total of $44,385 for this tester and pretty much every other Type R out there. But guys, we certainly hope you enjoyed watching our in-depth review of this 2023 Honda Civic Type R. It certainly has been a blast to film it, and we cannot wait to show you later on our driving impressions and all of the awesomeness going on uh, with this Type R out on the road. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed to a channel already, please go ahead and do that. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram. We have merch store that you can go check out as well. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.